Here is the first question. Draw the APR flow in physical design process. In the context of physical design for the integrated circuits, the automatic placement routing flow, in short, we call it as APR, is a crucial process whereby the gate level netlist, usually obtained from the synthesis tool, is physically implemented as layout by placing the standard cell layout and auto routing the cells based on the connections that are inferred from the netlist. Now, before diving into the APR flow, let us know about the funda of placement and routing. Placement is an algorithmic process where various logical components such as logical gates, functional blocks, macros are assigned to a specific location on the chip layout. The goal of the placement process is to place these components in a way that meets the design rules and timing requirements so as to meet the design specifications. So, in order to achieve the goal, the placement process ensures efficient use of available chip area and minimizes the wire length between the components for the better performance. Now, with respect to the routing. Routing is a process which involves in creating the physical connections between all the logical components using the metal layers. Actually, Routing follows the clock trace into this process, whose primary objective is to minimize the total wire length that is required between the components inside the chip layout. By doing so, we reduce the signal delay and improve the performance. Now, let us start with the automatic placement and routing flow, which involves several stages. They are the macro placement, followed by standard cell placement, then the clock trace synthesis followed by global routing, then detailed routing, and finally, the timing optimization. Now, with respect to the micro-placement, macro-placement in physical design refers to the process of positioning the large-sized blocks, such as the memory blocks, for example, analog blocks, for example, within the core area of an integrated circuit design by means of periphery placement or logical grouping in order to achieve optimal performance, area equalization, and routing efficiency. Now, moving on to the next stage of the APR flow is the standard cell placement. Here, the PNR tool approximates the cell's location on the standard cell rows based on the timing, congestion, and multi-voltage constraints. Actually, the cells may not align perfectly on the cell rows during the initial placement, but the tool ensures that the cells align correctly on the rows without overlapping by means of legalization step. Followed by the next stage in the APR flow is the clock tracing to this. It is a process of connecting the clock signals from the clock port to all the clock pins of the sequential cells by maintaining the minimum insertion delay and balancing the skew between the cells using the clock inverters and the clock buffers. Followed by the next stage in the APR flow is the global routing. It is the process where the tool divides the entire core area into global routing cells and tries to find out the shortest path to connect the cells in the chip layout. Followed by the next stage in the APR flow is the detailed routing, where the actual metal layers are used to connect all the components inside the chip layout based on the information that are derived right away during the global routing and track assignment stages. And the last stage in the APR flow is the timing optimization. Timing optimization in the physical design aims to achieve better performance by carefully placing all the cells inside the core area, then managing the congestion and meeting the timing constraints. It is a cr critical step in creating the efficient and reliable integrated circuits. So this is all about the various stages that are involved in the automatic placement and routing flow.